Okay, what's going on? So, uh, African stand against. So, it is Anastasia. I just recorded and muted my mic for the whole time, which is unfortunate. But, uh, African stand against Rome. And sorry I didn't upload anything last week, I was on vacation. <laughs> But, uh, three Rome, and just before this, Rome was getting mad because we were trying to pick, like, the right armies to counter Rome, which we kind of did, I don't know, but we picked armies that counter Rome potential. Egypt Rome, or African Rome, basically. Well, no, African Rome is Numidia, but, uh, Antony's Rome, which is, like, the African Rome in the Civil War. Kinda. And then Carthage, which does have pikes and elephants. And then uh, Nabate Nabatea, Nabatea, which uh, have pikes as well and good archers. But yeah, Rome struggles in two departments. Well, they completely fail in the pike department. And in the skirmisher department, they're pretty good, but they can only get three of these guys, so you have to either run, like, levies, velites, or, or, like, something along those lines, like, or slingers. So, they are good, but they can only run three good archers. And right now, I have, they have, like, all these tortoises here, which I think it is best to spread out your tortoises. So then they're forced to use units, like, kind of, like, spread out along the wall. They can't just go after a few points. Because right now, over here, they're just defending, like, these small points. Because they can only go down there. And over here, I just have big, long lines. Because there's only towers, I don't need to, like, defend the arrow tower. Or the stairs. But... Let's just look at the Roman comps. I actually didn't do this last recording, but gladiators, and then pretty standard armored legionaries. Let's see if I can get like a good shot of just Romans marching for this for the uh, thumbnail. African stand against the Roman war machine. And over here, okay. So I'm bringing out my African elephants to try to get rid of some of this, like, Praetorian guard. They're charging in Praetorian cavalry. So we have, like, a lot of Praetorians over here. Uh, or Praetorian guard. And then we have uh, our elephants over here. Which, our elephants are going to struggle due to all of the javelins they have to throw at them. Like, all the missiles. Our desert heavy lancers are not going to do well against the Liatus there. Because they have some... Okay, they are firing. I thought they were, like, holding this shotgun. Which is a little bit annoying. It does work. But I think a little bit annoying is more than a is an understatement for how annoying it is. It's where you like bring it up and fire at the units from like very close. Thing is you can't do anything because they have units right in front. <clears throat> but right now, yeah, I'm just getting units in front <coughs> of all the spots they've broken. Their gladiators are moving down. Do they only bring like one unit gladiators? Usually if you're gonna bring gladiators, most people don't bring like one just in case because the thing is gladiators can be very dangerous in the right situations now we do have pikes for the final stand but say our final stand is like spears or swords only especially like hoplites you run them in activate their ability and they're going to ruin whatever's there because they have this ability killing spree which increases their weapon damage, and their weapon damage is already insanely high. Like, what, 34 base, 5 armor piercing is pretty high. 
and their melee attack is high too. Like, what do these guys have? The Roman armor legionaries have like five less base weapon damage and less like melee attack. So these guys can be good. The thing is they don't have armor and they are a smaller unit. Like they're a smaller unit and they don't have armor. But if you're not gonna get shot with a good, a decent melee defense at 60, that's not gonna matter in close range. The thing is, pushing a tower like this, they're gonna get shot by arrow towers and they're not gonna have a good time <laughs> pushing these. But I have my general in the back, it's General's Bodyguard, and something I found out is the General's Bodyguard for Carthage. Uh, uh, I thought the General's Bodyguard for Carthage in Rome might be different. And then I'm like, oh wait, they're only using Legatus. Or Legatus. So, they're, the general body's guard is actually probably the same. It's the Legatus that isn't actually. Oh no, it's different, it's different. That is general and bodyguard, right? Oh, it's general and bodyguard, or general's bodyguard. Which you would think would be the same. Or, we also have some different abilities. Like, mine is resistant to heat. Yeah, but like, ours has 90 health. Ours is, I think, slightly better. Better, worse melee attack, but better weapon damage, better melee defense, and better health. So I think our general's bodyguard is better than their general and bodyguard. But I just assume they wrote general's bodyguard. They're slightly different, <laughs> which I find a little funny. Because it would be so easy for them to make those units the same, but... They also have a unit I don't see them much, and I think they have a few of these. So she extraordinary. For close course fighting, these men admit to no equals of those perhaps, so one born of pride. Yeah, like, so I guess they're like the upper class of Rome. The so she extraordinary? Extraordinary? So like, they're kind of like the Roman nobles, I assume. But, like, they use, like, these Greek-style shields, kinda. Like, they don't use the average Roman shield. But over here, my elephants are not having real time. And actually, yeah, they got just shot up. But these elephants, with only 90 kills, they just are completely ignoring them. They're gonna get some of these artillery and archers. There's just so much to see on Carthage, because it's a very spread out battle. Like, we had our sally out over here, and they're like, they're being weird with the artillery, but... It, but Rome's not really going anywhere. They're gonna get stops right there, kinda. They're, they should move these axe warriors down. Actually, keep one, but move the other one down. Just because they have heavy archer coverage, if they get more than one unit. The Navity and Axe Warriors can't... Eh, they actually don't have as much staying power as I thought they did. I mean, they have 65 armor. It's not bad. But, like, they can hold Honda like this. Like a diagonal while the archers shoot. Which will allow them to do more stuff. And, yeah, they're, they're dealing with these guys. They did get, like, 30 more kills, though, which is nice. Yeah, they got 29 more kills. Can they get to 30 more? But yeah, this Roman Auditor has 69... Wait, 69 kills. I guess they shot some, but like only 25 men. I thought they would have less, but yeah, like see, these guys are firing at them. Now they actually did pretty bad though, but like... They also have these Syrian archers, which are, I guess are already out of ammo, I assume. I wish they showed you how many ammo they have in replay. Because it's not like I can change the battle. But yeah, right now, they're getting like, surrounded. We missed the first engagement where they got surrounded by coastal levies and legionary cohort. Let's bring out some coastal levies. I'm keeping these men right here. And they are breaking this. 
Well, the gladiators already broke it, and they got over here. The thing is, they got shot by towers. Like, if this was Hastati, these pikemen would basically be dead right now. Because I didn't realize this. And they activated killing spree, which is going to get them more kills. But I do finally turn the pikemen around. And they're going to be out of luck, kind of. Yeah, and then my elephants. If they brought, like, two units of archers over here, they might have been able to just do my strat and get it get it off. Because I have, like, archers back here. We're running around. Okay, wait. Well, they probably wouldn't because Navatia has units there. But they're starting to break. And if our elephants can get rid of these guys, I can then set up my pikes right here since they don't have the gate. Because the key is you got to quickly get the gate. Because the gate gives you arch arrows. And it allows you to, like, get in more. Especially with another opening here. It allows you to, like, get in. But also on the other one, I was able to use, like, these towers too. Where they only have this right now. And with them running around there. Do these guys actually kill some of my pikes? They kill any of my pikes, bro. No, no, they probably knocked a few of them over. Yeah, they knocked a few of them over. Oh, they did kill two pikes. Oops. Oops. But, uh, yeah, we're back in. We have re we've gained control. And now they've send o sent over four more units of armored legionaries, which aren't going to do bad. The thing is, they need the archers. <laughs> like, they need the archers. Now, they do have two javelin tosses, which is great for them. But they still need the uh, archers. Because right now, they are getting stopped at all the sea. Like, they are getting stopped. They're getting stopped there. They're getting stopped over here. They've had a little bit of luck, it looks like, over here. And, uh, I accidentally put my Balearic Slingers in here, which is weird, but they are getting stopped in here. If we can, like, force them out and take the gate, that would be so clutch. <laughs> but we're not gonna be able to do it. Oh, what are- Praetorian Guard is used to live? Did I know that? It doesn't show that they- Oh, uh, I guess it does. I, I, I just didn't know they had that. I'm clueless. I- Rome, I bar rarely use, because everyone's like, oh, don't use Rome, it's overpowered. So I actually have used them one of the less. Now, I, there's a few other factions I've used less, of course, RDI. Other factions like that. But I've used Rome surprisingly little, though I know they are really high. I'm actually thinking of doing a Total War Rome Siege tier list. So I'd have two tier lists, like Attack and defense but rome would be i know rome would be s on both of them rome's just like too good like that's why people left because of three rome here but yeah i'm charging these guys out to face these triari outside of the gate and then i'm rushing them over to try to like cut them off while my elephants damage them and they're like on the beach They're on the beaches of Africa. Traps. Men, you may be tired and scared, but so what? You are Romans. Romans do not weaken or tire. Now, face your foes. What an amazing speech, but I don't even think that was the squadron leader. Or your, like, unit leader. But now they're all cheering. <laughs> Invigorating speech. Uh, armor legionaries. But African war elephants are doing good. My Italian swordsmen are winning against armored legionaries. And these Italian swords got uh, some decent damage on these Bellates. But we're losing every- well, not yet. We're doing like not great against this Triari. And I'm sending in a unit of Iberian swordsmen in. And yeah, I have just rushed whatever I could down Iberian swords, African pikemen. And I've even brought my general out. I don't think they'll, they're going to be very useful. 
are gonna, uh, yeah, it doesn't end up being very useful, but. All right, well, these are the two units that heard the speech. Let's see how they do. Well, they do get a nice javelin toss. That yeah, probably got a lot of javelins. Like, if you look at some of these elephants, out of the javelins, I know that if you looked at some of these elephants, there are like a lot of javelins in their bodies. Like, that's how they got a lot of their kills on elephants. Cause they're gonna have a lot less luck trying to stab elephants. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not gonna be able to stab elephants. They're not gonna pull an archer on the chariot. <laughs> oh my, I remember that. But yeah, they're not gonna pull like four archers just stabbing, four armor legionary just stabbing an elephant at once and killing it. But uh, these guys are getting surrounded and are losing decisively. And these elephants are like winning and then they go out of control for literally like a second which makes me kind of mad. But over here, we're getting surrounded. So I think I start trying to pull these Skatari out. Yeah, trying to pull something out. Yeah, well, I want the Skatari out. These like Italian sword, Iberian swordsmen are not nearly as good. They're all wearing similar clothes. It makes it hard to distinguish. But the Skatari, yeah, they're not having a great time. And they're finally bringing over the archers. So I'm going to bring, where are my slingers over and like put them on the wall to try to fire back. And yeah, get my general's bodyguard back. Get, try to get these Iberian swordsmen back. I'll leave these, do whatever, take ammo. But their general is like chasing these Iberian swords. So we're gonna have to like turn and fight him. Bane's gonna run, we're gonna run back, then we're gonna turn and fight him again. <laughs> I think we get what, one or two kills here on these guys? Can we not kill these men? We got, we got, we, okay, we killed them, we killed them. We got four kills there, pretty good. Meanwhile, all their infantry is going right there. And then they charge again. They've already went four for zero. Uh, they're gonna go at it again. This time maybe they'll have more success. All right, they got they got four. Now they're five. Now they're f now they're like seven for five. Now they're doing good. But uh, my general decides, you know what? No. And uh, goes out and fight fights them. My general's bodyguard against their general and bodyguard. Minor difference there. But yeah, now my general actually should've just stayed here and killed some of them. But yeah, I, those, they, I had some elephants who finished routing in the back that came along and was gonna get some kills on these guys. But I think, yeah, I pulled my general back. It's not worth <laughs> that. And at this point, balance of power is in our favor. They've had no success out there. They have one small pocket to fight, pikes in, they have some archers, but not like a lot of ammo. They have some stuff, but like not a lot of ammo. So I'm liking our chances a lot. They have 12 men in the, in the bodyguard left. Well, they have 11 men in the bodyguard, one general. Cause I think their general at this point is still alive. Their general eventually dies. The guy with the flag over his head should be the general, if the general is alive. No, it isn't, but yeah, I think at this point the general has died. Or no, 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 that's the general. The general is still alive. But yeah, he turns, all right, let's, let's, see, let's see when the general is killed. Uh, still alive, it looks like. Maybe the general is dead, I don't know. I think that's the general there, right? Or did the general have like a fancy shield? I think the general might be dead. Something tells me that's the general. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was, cause he dies in that volley of arrows. Who shot that? 
Was that a javelin throw? Well done, Iberian swords. What a toss. Whoever sent the javelin into the back of that guy. What a throw. Where's the general's body over here? There he is. Oh no, his horse when I got shot, not the general, but yeah. What a toss. And we're we're moving over my pikes here. We have these guys up who are gonna shoot at their archers. And then my general goes out for another charge. Like the mad lad he is. Has 20 kills, 20 for one. A lot better than that Roman, the general and bodyguard. Yeah, 32 kills for one death. All right, they're gonna get a few more deaths here probably. But they did good, and I'm trying to like, yeah, they got, they're still a good KD, but I was trying to like, use one of his abilities on this guy, and he like, walked over there. But yeah, they have 30, but it's like 10 for 32. I'll take it, ah, they killed another one. 11, why is the gate not closing? Oh, cause this guy needs to walk in. Okay, I was about to say, that gate needs to close, cause they're getting shot. There we go, close the gate, finally. But yeah, and then these pikes should just hold. Now they are taking some losses to ammo, but Right now, we're doing a good job keeping that to a minimum. And for some reason, they start shooting at these Valeric Slingers. Now, they're doing all right. But it's not even on the guys sling at them. Like, it's the guys in the back who aren't doing much right now. And they do start wavering. And then they for completely forget about my general again, I think. But, yeah, they're, they're going to get not great kills. But they are going to take a lot of ammo. Ammo that they need to shoot at these pikemen. And my Iberian swords, firing. Don't know, they got two killed off of that. Don't know what, know what they were firing at, but I'll take it. But yeah, these pikes are amazing. And it's funny because usually the front row gets them, but the back row, two back might get the kills because they're angled up. But over here on the other side of the battlefield, literally nothing is happening. Whatever happened to their... Oh, did they... After I elephant charged, did they not have enough people to take them? Did they... They didn't grab the onager back. They can... Once you're attacked, if you right-click it again, your onager crew can grab it again. They didn't. They just sent them in. And this Legatus is going to take some damage. My. I think the Legatus might actually be closer to the Roman, or the General's Bodyguard. But yeah, my General's Bodyguard does it again. 53 for 11. My General's Bodyguard's doing work right now. And right back through the gate. Not one loss. And every time, we're just getting, we're taking away ammo. Like, right now, the name of the game is Ammo. <laughs> And these Cretan archers are never get charged. They should, but they don't. So they they just fire at things. And Antony's room in the desert room. I'm just gonna call them desert room for all purposes of the reasons. Or like African room, African room, African room's bodyguard. The Evocati cohorts taken, not good. K not a good KD, but yeah, right now we're doing good against the Principes. Principes actually got a good amount of kills though, and these armored legionaries are gonna get a lot of kills as well. But they're running out of steam. They have this. They did get rid of my elephants, but they only have like what some. They have one unit of archers left. These guys over here are starting to break already. Due to army losses. The, this is like, yep, they have this army left. 
one unit of archers firing at these guys. Thing is, their armor, it's not good, but it's not horrendous. And yeah, they're gonna get stuff. Now, I should have put it in like a triangle shape. The thing is, I was afraid they were gonna get so many kills on them with ammo that I just seemed to bring these guys up. But I realistically should have done triangle shape. But now they're just standing here and they need to send everything in. Send everything in. They are still getting a few kills with their archers, but like it's just not enough. And they're still firing back, so like they're not even getting that's like they're they're taking losses with them as well. So yeah, they, they need to use more archers, and there we go. My general's bodyguard charging back out. The legends they are. They might actually take some friendly fire. I hate it when the gates shoot your own units. Uh, the general's bodyguard gonna shoot the back of them. Or not shoot, but gonna charge the back of them, trapping them there. And that's it. We just need to finish up some units. We have won rather decisively for like Carthage, Nabatea, and Antony's Rome. But we have won rather well. And they have some archers here and they have other archers. I'm like, wait, what? Are they like hidden or something? And then I'm like, oh yeah. And they have a general and bodyguard, a full one over here. So I'm like, oh well, uh, we'll charge them out just like general and general. Cause they have 85 kills right now. Now they are gonna take a lot of losses here. Like 86, they don't even get one yet take a lot of losses. It's cause they already took a decent amount of damage from like archers and stuff. But yeah, they don't even get one kill and are getting bullied. So maybe the general and bodyguard is better. I don't know, what do you think? If uh, anyone who comments watches this video, cause I don't know how many will on a really small channel. Uh, tell me, what do you think's better, general and bodyguard or general's bodyguard? <laughs> but yeah, we're pulling them back, and now I'm just like, yeah, everything at them. They're they're about to break. They have 15 men left. Like they lost so many men at the end, and there we go. They start breaking, and uh, that is it. Let's just see how. Yeah, like. So, MVPs for me are these elephants, and these Balearic Slingers didn't do horrible. I'm usually I'm really bad with Slingers, but MVP, these two elephant units. MVP for them, Palace Guard, Desert Pikes, and he Heavy Lancers. MVPs for them, these Armored Legionaries, these Cretan Archers didn't do bad, the Legionary Cohort. Alright, now, MVPs for Rome. The Soshi Extraordinary Armored Legionaries were doing a lot. Armored Legionaries are very good units. Over here, they don't... MVP would probably be these Armored Legionaries. <laughs> Everything else didn't do a ton. And over here, what is this army? What? I've seen a lot of Triari, like, five Praetorian Guard, some Praetorian Cav. Well, MVPs are... These Praetorian Guard, I guess. What is this army comp? I mean, everything got a kill at least. Three, but it's a kill. I have no clue what this army comp was, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, they always have a full army, I guess. That's full. Yeah, like, that's full army. Alright, well. Also, sneak peek. Some more. We're gonna have final and uh, Spartans hold. So if you did watch this far, congratulations! You got a sneak peek.